Okay, so let's do a question on stacks. Uh, print a sentence in reverse order using a stack. So write a program that inputs a line of text and uses a stack to display the words of the line in reverse order. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the stack section of the uh, Java docs. And you'll see there's the import for stacks, javautil.stack. And you'll see there's a less than e greater than there. That means we're going to declare a stack to be to contain a certain type of data, for example, a stack of employees, or a stack of products, or a stack of strings, or any other reference type. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see the methods that we can use. So empty, peak, pop, push, and search. So the main ones we're going to use here are uh, made probably empty, pop to get data off the stack, and push to push data onto the stack. Okay, so just those three are pretty well all we need. So let's have a look. So it doesn't say develop a GUI. It doesn't say generate a lovely, beautiful user interface. So we're just going to use a, a basic console program. Okay, it doesn't say to do anything different. So we'll just get the job done as quick as we can. So we'll probably declare, we'll probably use a scanner. Good old scanner that we've been using a lot. New scanner system. Okay, so that's going to get input from the keyboard and string line of text equals kb dot next oops lowercase n next line we want to prompt the user to enter that system dot out dot print line enter a line of text okay so we're going to prompt the user to enter a line of text then we want to get the the line of text into a line of text string with kb, kb dot next line. That's going to get the next line of text from the scanner box, scanner buffer. Uh, now we want to look through. Well, actually, what we're going to do next is split that line of text up into words. And there's a great little function in Java called split, which is a string function, and it's really easy to use. String. I'm going to make an array of words, and it's going to be our line of text that we want to split. Dot split round brackets space. So we're going to split up the words in that line of text by space. So every after every space, we're going to put another word in the array. Okay, that's our words array. Now we're going to put those words onto the stack. So that's that's just an array of words. If we printed that out to the screen from, from zero to words array dots dot length, we would see the words as the user typed them. Okay, so it's just the words in the line of text. Um, let's put those words onto um, onto the stack. Oh, we're going to declare a stack object yet. So remember from the from the Java help or the the, the, the Java docs, um, a stack's going to be of a certain type. Java yield dot stack e. So we're going to say what type of data we're going to store in a stack. And in this case, it's just a string. So it's nice and easy. Let's just declare our stack object stack 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 string word stack equals new oops equals new stack string round brackets that's declaring a stack object I'll line everything up because I like, I like my code being neat okay so for string s in we're going to use a for each loop here we could use a counter loop that's fine for each for each, the for each loops just slightly less code slightly, slightly less typing so for each in fact, I'll call it word. Word. So for each word in our words array, we're going to push that onto the stack. So it's word stack dot push word. Okay. And we're just calling that push method there, which is part of the stack methods. So push, we're pushing an item onto the stack. Okay. So it's nice and easy. There it is, push. Okay, so after we finish there, all the words are on the stack. Now we've got to get them off. So what we want to do is display a message to the user and say, here's the words in reverse order. And maybe just put a slash in in front of that so we can leave a bit of space. Okay. And then... Um, so if we look at that stack again, there's an empty method. That's how we can tell if the stack's empty. So while, and 
that's our word stack dot empty equals false so while the stack isn't empty we'll pop a word off and print it to the screen and it's word stack dot pop we'll go back to that java doc so we can see that there it is pop and that removes an object from the top of the stack so pop and push the main ones we need and empty to determine if the stack's empty dot pop um, when we're popping the words off the stack there are no longer spaces between them so maybe we want to put a space between the words as they come off the stack onto the screen and that should be it that should well and truly be it I don't think there's anything else we need to do oh yes there is something we need to do we need an import for scanner import java.util.scanner and we need to import the stack which is java.util.stack Okay, so that's that done. Control one, control two. I'm gonna type in a line of text. Hi Mike, how are you? Okay, and we should get it back in reverse order. And that's, hi Mike, how are you? Now you'll see the press and the key to continue. That's done by text pad. So maybe at the end of that loop that pops off the words, we wanna put out a new line at the end of that. So we'll do that as well. System out print line. Okay, that's all we needed, just a print line after the stack. Control 1, Control 2, my mic. Hope it works this time. And there we are. So it takes time exclamation points as a word. So time this works it, hope mic, hi. Okay, so mic comma is a word as well. Okay, because we didn't split the words up by comma. Okay, so that's correct, and that's that, that's exactly that's that thing there in reverse order. So my comma is one word, hi is a word, hope it works this time. Time with all those exclamation points is a word, so it's done the right thing. So that's working. Okay, so um, stacks and queues, they're pretty easy to work with, just have a try. Okay, and it's usually just a matter of popping things onto the stack or queue and popping, popping things off there. Push on, push on and pop off. Okay, so there's, there's lots of useful information in the Java docs. I highly recommend um, you have a look in there. Okay, hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.